Just a few millimeters of sea level rise per year may not sound like much, but there are places in the world where it's starting to add up. Welcome to Miami! German newlyweds Sven Klein and Katrin, uh... Vindelis. Well, they could have had their wedding anywhere, but they chose Miami Beach. I love it. We've been here twice. What they may not realize is this strip of sand underneath the towering condos... Everybody wants to be right at the, right at the water's edge. ...is mostly man-made. All this beach is artificial in that regard. This guy should know. Dr. Stephen Leatherman's students at the Laboratory for Coastal Research call him Dr. Beach. Decades ago, years of hurricanes had worn Miami Beach away to almost nothing. This is sand that used to be out two or three, four miles offshore. The Army Corps of Engineers keep physically moving the beach back to Miami Beach. Some hotels have even brought in these boulders. We call these artificial headlands. So I still hear the waves crashing here, but it's being pushed back into the ocean, you're saying. Well, the waves here are really small. Take a step back and you'll see stopping those little waves has gone a long way, at least right behind the rocks it has. Making this a nice, wide, fat beach, everybody's happy. But down there, they're being sand starved. It's like uh, uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Hotels with thin beaches are the most at risk during these hurricane season months. We knock on the woods and say it. Uh, no hurricanes here in Miami Beach. <laughs> Locals. We're from here. We yeah. live in Pinecrest. Definitely remember last year. And it was crazy. The water got super high tide. Sandy walked, walked, went right along our coastline, did not make landfall. But just an hour up the beach, there was enough storm surge from Sandy to drown a road. This new wall is Fort Lauderdale's response. As you can see, the ocean is coming through these rocks, so it doesn't hold it back that much. Not 100%. Yeah. As the earth warms up, we melt land-based ice. And it all flows down here, eroding the very beaches the world has grown to love. We live now in Cologne, and we don't have a beach, so and here we have the beach. Turns out sand is not an unlimited resource, and this business of constantly rebuilding Florida's beaches is already turning pricey. In Miami, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.